Bloggers Pow. Okay, let's have a go on Sega's Hang On Games. Right, so here we go, first game, Hang On. Now, Hang On was the first of Sega's Super Scale Arcade games. And uh, a very hard one it was too. Still is. Now, playing this in the arcade, you could play it on a stand up cabinet, which was uh, your standard uh, handlebars up there. In fact, you've still got the handlebars for a hang on machine in my loft. Don't ask why, that's a story for another day. And then you could play the full sit down cabinet, which was a uh, huge replica of a motorcycle where you'd sit on it and you'd actually have to use your body weight to lean the motorcycle into the corners. Which is uh, absolutely mental and also very hard to play if you're uh, 13. Of course you could put your feet down onto the uh, floor and uh, use that to uh, help you move it, give you a bit more purchase. Gonna go around the cartridge. But if you did sit on it properly and put your feet, put your feet on the, uh, uh, what are they called? Pedals? Stirrups? I don't know. Shit. Um, it would actually give you more grip. So that's, that's an interesting piece of tip, bit information. Now, groups of uh, kids down my arcade used to have an idea. One of them would sit on it and that break the uh, brake accelerator and then you'd have one either side or maybe one on the back uh, moving the bike left or right. So it became like a multiplayer cooperative experience which was uh, pretty cool to watch but I don't think the arcade operators were, pretty, uh, were particularly happy about that. Uh, now, Hang On came out on the Master System. Um, for the original game, I do believe until Yu Suzuki's Gameworks came along, uh, oh, and Shenmue, of course, it was the only version available. Um, oh, actually, it might be an MSX version, I might be wrong, and I'm running out of time. Oh dear. Like I said, very, very tough game. Um, it's good, but it's not as good as what came next. Right, here we go with Super Hang On, the sequel. Okay, so you can see the presentation's already better. You've got a choice of stages and a choice of music. The Outrun, Outrider Crisis. That suit panel was automatically different because uh, you're icing along and you reach the top speed. And you can engage a supercharger's button on the uh, okay cabinet. The arcade okay cabinet was a stand up, uh, which I played. And there was a sit down version as well, which I didn't play. But the sit down version looked like it was easier to, ma to manage than the hang on this one, because you didn't have to tilt on the cabinet, you just tilted the, uh, the seat and the screen stay put. So that was a lot easier. The uh, also received more home conversions than the original. And bit versions of uh, the game on Specky, Amstrad and Commodore 64. Specky and Amstrad versions were excellent. Uh, Commodore 64 version was a great big pile of shite. Um, um, Amiga and its team were pretty good, uh, in fact we've got the Amiga version in the previous video, the Commodore 64 version in the previous video as well. 
Um, oh. uh, also, strangely enough, there was um, a PlayStation 3 version on PSN Network a couple of few years ago. I don't think it's still there. That's probably the best way to play this these days. And there's a Mega Drive version, which is a conversion, but isn't. It's got like, a career mode in it as well. And I think it's, it's a bit too slow. And there's a Birdland sign. Never go to Birdland. So there we go, uh, Super Hang On, and uh, it's good, it's fun, it's still really hard and I can't get the controls to work properly in MAME, so I was playing that on keyboard. Um, yeah, enjoy, it's really good, because you don't want to play what's coming next. So this is what happened next, Hang On GP95, so that's what, seven, eight years? After uh, Super Hang On, was Super Hang On 87, 88? I don't know. Anyway, things have gone really, really badly wrong here. Look at that. It's an early Saturn game, so it looks as ugly as fuck. Uh, choose a course, and it's not checkpoint based. Well, it is, but it isn't, but it's. It's a circuit. Hang on, wasn't a circuit, it was a series of uh, stages, oh, and this isn't. Get ready. And here we have it. Like I say, early Saturn games, generally speaking, as ugly as fuck, and the handling on this is absolutely shitty beyond belief. There's no, there's no, there's no steering. Well, it, this all just floats from side to side like a. Like those inflatable punch bags. You know, the ones with so like you've got a weight in the bottom, it's inflatable at the top, and you punch it and it goes from side to side. This is what that feels like. There's no connect with the racetrack at all. It's absolutely shockingly shite and. Oh my god. God! Considering in the arcades at this sort of time, you were playing Manx TT Superbike with or without sheep. It doesn't matter. This. This is like they had a half assed motorcycle game, which they. I don't know, I'm trying to just try this shit. I can't. This is. Maybe I'm playing it wrong. Maybe if I break as I go around the corner, I can slide out a bit and... You're not supposed to slide out on a motorbike, that's dangerous. Anybody who's been on two wheels will know that sliding out is a bad idea. And... Is there any different camera angles? Let's, let's get to a straight level look. No, press all different buttons, no. Oh, we do, we're slightly, slightly... Hand out view there. That's. Let's try it again. Oh my god, first person view. This is actually a little bit more playable, I think. <laughs> I'm not distracted by the giant weevil of your bike. Hold on. What the. Racing Hero was already out at this point. And that's a much better hang on game than this is. And it was checkpoint based and why wasn't that a hang on game? And why hasn't that been converted? Oh, I have covered it before obviously. But, you know. Christ, this is shocking. What the actual fuck? Eee, fuck. Yeah, so. Hang On went from being a uh, uh, a fun game to becoming uh, one of the best arcade racers uh, in the arcades uh, to be forgotten and only to be left as this pile of shit. Huh, game over, game over, yeah.
Thanks for watching this quick look at Sega's Hang On Games. Which do you think was the best there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't that Saturn game. Yeah, subscribe or naff off! Three, two, one.